far as our um, nutritional testimonials is um, Loretta Chancellor. Loretta is actually here from Colorado Springs, and when she told me that she was coming, I asked her to share her family story because Loretta's family has a predisposition to autoimmune diseases, and she has a story that she wants to tell you about her granddaughter. Loretta? Thank you. Uh, about a year before Livix came on the market, I had a 24-year-old granddaughter who was diagnosed with Crohn's disease. And she was in San Diego doctoring at the University of San Diego. And they disclosed to us that they felt autoimmune diseases were at an epidemic level. And, of course, they had their answers. It's not that we have not been using health care, and we believe that Shackley is health care, we kind of feel the realm outside of Shackley is more like disease care. It probably should be renamed. Uh, anyway, Kendra was suffering, losing weight, uh, couldn't eat, couldn't work, and this went on for about a year. And I'm a take massive action kind of a grandma, so it wasn't that we weren't trying many different things, but I do think the autoimmune disease gene is probably very strong in my family. In my immediate family, uh, Five cousins with MS. I have a daughter with MS. We've had uveitis in our family and rheumatoid arthritis. So um, she was she was sinking, and we were desperate. Uh, the doctors periodically kept trying to wean her off of the steroids, which was the only thing that seemed to cool it down, hoping that she could get off of it because the side effects of that were becoming devastating. And she was also on a drug for. Uh, inflammation which didn't seem to be working very well and they were suggesting that they probably were going to try some kind of a chemo product but that it would make her sterile. About that time Vivix came on the market and I uh, was able to go to Denver and listen to Dr. Sinclair and took some massive action in, in doing some study on that and I came across an article on resveratrol that said Resveratrol has the ability to silence a gene that causes disease. And that seemed powerful to me. So as quickly as I could get it to her, I did. And she added Vivix to her diet. And after about a month, they once again tried to wean her off of the cortisone or steroid product that she was on. And this time, it worked. And she has been symptom-free for over a year. Wow. wow. Continues and has never missed a single day of having her big spoonful of Vivix. She keeps a bowl of digestees on her table every time she eats. She uses that. She uses the Omega uh, several times a day and has no inflammation. She uses Vitalizer and all the good stuff. And we recently came back from California to her wedding. She's now past 25, beautiful and healthy, and those things as well. So, oh, When they start using these products, they get off of them and they think they're cured and they kind of get their symptoms back again. So, how many of you want to rush out of here, not now, but <laughs> in a little bit, and you want to get on your phone and you want to tell at least one person one of these stories because it would impact their life in a way that they never had an impact? How many? Absolutely.